What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World. Today, we're going to be talking about the new season, season two that's coming. For those of you guys that don't understand what's happening, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and turn on your post notifications because this is where you're going to want to be for Madden 22 Ultimate Team. Um, Pretty much what happened is this, when you first log in now, they changed the original um, graphic that they had. This is the graphic that you get right now. This was the previous graphic that they had up yesterday. So what's happening is EA Sports understands that they made a mistake right here. It tells you to check back December 8th. Uh, this was something that they put up. I was like, all right, good. They got something. It's tied down. It's ready to go. Apparently, there's been some issues with the way that it was going to be deployed, and I have to give them credit. They're trying to make it so that it's not a lot of, you know, stress for us as the users of what they put out when it's released. They want to make sure that it's a better release, so it, it's probably going to be delayed, all right? Just so you guys are aware of that. Um, so now you'll see that that's gone. It's no longer December 8th, so it could be anytime you know towards the end of this week or maybe even next week but the the biggest issue about it is just trying to make sure that there's not as many bugs you guys know what i'm talking about bro there's always some major you know ridiculous bug that's going on and it's just like okay bro i got it ea do better all right so we just got our wiki uh we weekly we why am i saying all this stuff weekend league weekly it, yo ww bro like peter papa pit pecker all right we got it weekend league weekly all-star so guys i did not finish weekend league i had some other events i had to make so we didn't finish our whole season so we, we won a couple games whatever that's great we got some packs we'll deal with that stuff later on we're going to focus on the point of the video and that is the actual season two so i'm going to go ahead and pinpoint a few things uh before we get into what the rewards are and all that stuff let's take a look at ultimate season right so some of you guys were saying that the third quarter was going to expire once the season reset I don't know if they should do that, but also, they don't, you, they, because this is season two, we don't really know what the premise is. It makes no sense for me to 100% complete this right now because it's going to be useless for the XP. And also, the way that they're going to be giving out XP uh, for this season is kind of ridiculous as far as repeating solos. If you're the kind of guy that works like me when we do challenges, I do everything 100% complete. You're going to get little to nothing after you repeat a challenge. You know, it goes down every single time. It's a lot of stuff that's going on technically with it. So you'll get a thousand XP if you get all five stars. Uh, if you get three, you'll get the remaining two when you go back and do the other two. But I always do fully max stars. So I'm gonna have an issue with the amount of challenges available to probably get the XP. So I'm trying to hold off and not do this because even if I go ahead and get some battle scores and solo battles and I get this additional XP, it won't benefit me right now anyway. So I'm just gonna wait to see what EA does. If they do it where they leave it, we're going to have a head start. If not, we got to grind regardless. It is what it is. But there was an issue where they were saying that head-to-head -head gameplay against, you know, human opponents were giving out too much XP. And that's one of the reasons why they wanted to kind of, you know, slow it. It's a lot of stuff going on in the back end. But again, i much rather them give it to us when it works than for them to put it out and it not work. Now, you guys are going to be like, yo, but G-Maya, we're in December and it's season two. I get that. But it still would be very, very frustrating for us if they put out something that just didn't work. So we just need to be patient with it. We've already waited till December. You know what I'm saying? It's not like another couple days are gonna make a difference if you think about it. So, you know, that's where we are right now. So now that we've discussed all that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring up what, we, what I was talking about as far as the rewards. Now, looking at this, you can see, you know, um, they highlighted the season champion and the collectible. Uh, at five and they highlighted when you get the season collectibles i'm going to show you the season uh master that i care about who was taylor mays the baselli guy a tackle like whatever he is i dude i don't care about that but taylor mays is what i'm going to be going after and according to the way that the devin hester worked and junior Seau, yes they should get all team chemistries so everybody will probably be able to get taylor mays on their theme team and he would be a 98 speed if you have the strategy cards all right so as you go through everything you guys can take a still look at it see what's happening what's amazing to me though is the fact that they're, they're giving us another 82 to 84 power up pass at level eight like i thought they would start a little bit higher you know i, I know that they had it at 62 to 81 is like the minimum before but because it's such a delay i would much rather see like an 88 to start you know it's just sort of like we've been waiting for so long to get this season i don't know why we're still starting so low on the back end it should be a lot more rewards because if you gauge it out they're already probably planning for madden 23 you know what I'm saying? Like this, this is already something that they're probably looking at. They probably started Madden 23 at the launch of 22. 
So why are we still getting those lower level power-up passes? It doesn't really make any sense. I would say an 88 would be a minimum. And not only that, because in the auction house, 88 overall cards are so cheap anyway. It's only a few of them, so why would you start? It, it's just tedious. Those type of things to me, if they wanted to make it like, all right, here goes something that you guys can work with, that you can enjoy, it would make sense for them to give us a higher power-up pass to start, so that way we could end off with a higher power-up pass at the end. Because it looks like, the, you know, they give us that level 40, the 93 to, the 93 to 94 uh, power-up pass, it's like, okay, but we're in December though. But it makes sense because zero chill starts soon, and a lot of those cards are going to be 95s. So they don't want to give you that free card, free card right away. So I understand it. But at the end of the day, I know a lot of you guys are like, yo, bro, come on, man. Give us a 95 overall, overall power pass as the last, um, you know, level. But that's the case. That, that's what it is right now. So I'm going to point out the other players too, the free players. 94 overall NCAT Jerry Judy. Okay. Uh, and then you're going to have a 96 overall NCAT PJ Williams. So those are the other two free players. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring up, um, let's go ahead and bring up uh, the other guy real quick. So that way you guys can see it. Uh, Taylor Mays. All right. So this card right here, I've been waiting for a Taylor Mays forever. It makes sense that EA would give it to everybody though. Uh, and also this is not a power up. So no, he doesn't power up to a 95 and go to 99. All right, he's going to be a 98 speed uh, player on all your all your teams if you have the two strategy cards uh, for DBs and everything like that. He'll get the plus two speed, plus he'll get it from your theme team. So 98 speed will be what he is, but he's also 6'3". All right, another thing that's annoying is the fact that he's a 96 zone, so he'll go to 98 because there's no power up. So they didn't want to like give you something OP, out of control, but at the same time, they wanted to give you something where it's like, all right, cool. It works out a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? Everything right now, with the way that this is, it's going to be very, very interesting to see how everything works out with the way that this is with this card, because a lot of other safeties are going to lose value. But this guy is going to be on the squad regardless. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's definitely going to be on the squad. There's no, you know, we're not we're not arguing about that. L let me know what play you want. The Baselli, I didn't even want to even take a snapshot of the Baselli. I, di I didn't even care about the other card. You know, this is the card that all of you guys that are watching this video right now should go after because he's going to be the most important card. And the reasoning behind that is there's a lot of safeties, but nobody really has the speed right now. And that's a major issue. So I wanted to make sure you guys saw that. Now, when we go back to uh, all the levels, that's pretty much, you know, you guys can go ahead and take a look at that. The uncommon strategy, the regular strategy, all that stuff. It's all miscellaneous stuff, but you do get some decent packs. All right. The elite pack that you get at 48, gridiron pack, you get like a fantasy. Um, you get another one of those fantasy packs also. I'm trying to find it really quickly. You got the gold team fantasy pack. You got a pro, a pro fantasy pack. Um, I saw that they had like a, a, a redux. I thought I saw that they had a redux pack, but I'm not seeing it right now, unless I'm just not really looking at it in the right spot. Pro Fantasy at level seven, Gold Team Fantasy pack. You got a Gridiron at 14, um, 19 is 20K coin, rare, rare strategy item, uncommon strategy, season collectible, Gridiron. Okay, that's that, that's that. Gold Team Fantasy pack. 91 and 92 overall power pass level 33 pro fantasy pack 34 36 37 gold team uh pro fantasy pack at 41 gridiron pack at 44 uncommon strategy at 47 elite okay so i guess it wasn't i guess there wasn't one bro because um yeah i don't see it maybe that was just something oh is that it right there superstar champions fantasy pack maybe i don't know if that's the one that it uh it could have been no, but that's a, that's a superstar one, the 89. I don't know why I thought it was like a Redux uh, fantasy pack. That might have been for something else then, because um, he uh, it's highlighted for the ones that are like really key. So regardless, those that's just more of a summation. You guys can pause it, look at it, see everything that's going on with that. That's all good and well, and that's what you have to look for right now with the way everything else is going, and obviously the Taylor Mays. So. Moving forward just really quickly, because the Raiders theme team, all I'm really lacking is a better free safety. All of us that's watching this video know that we all hate Ronnie Lott because he's undersized, whatever. So once he gets that, once we get that 6-3 Taylor Mays, GG's. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, look guys, GG's. So that's what I'm looking to do. 
I don't care about the Baselli. You guys can tell me what you like, what you want to do, and we could talk about it more, but that's all the insight you need to know right now. So there's a chance that it may not come out on December 8th, but we will keep you updated here at Gmaya's World. Thank you for watching. Continue to have a safe holiday, and I'll see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.